Hi guys, John here again, Common Sense Outdoors. So let's start off with talking about this gun. This is, in my opinion, the best gun you can get for the money for youth. I would say ages 6 to 10. With that being said, maybe not so much on the 10, 6 to 90, <laughs> because this is awesome gun even for an adult um, this would fit in to a backpack really nicely but as far as the 6 to 10 youth thing goes uh, this is my one of my son's guns uh, he got it I got it for him when he was six I meant to bring out a plate every year when he we take it out in the woods and he shoots it I put up a plate with a black dot in the middle and he shoots it and I write his name on it and the date and I've been doing that since he was six and I tell you what for a six year old shooting this it's pretty accurate but the, the key thing about this is it's a single shot this is a Cricut 22 long rifle uh, very much like the chipmunk probably all know what a chipmunk is the difference between this and a chipmunk, the biggest difference is the price. Chipmunks are getting harder and harder to find. They start around $185 and up. Um, as last time I was in Walmart, these are at $109. So $109. Bucks. Uh, I got this on sale when he was six for $96, I think. At any rate, there's some things about this that make this the perfect gun for a youth. One is a single shot. You have to pull it back, put a shell in, close it up. You have one round ready to fire. There's nothing worse than ha having a kid shoot a gun, if, if it's a semi-automatic, and have them shoot it, pow! And they're so excited they hit that pop can or that target or whatever they were shooting at that they... Yay! And they swing around and they have a gun that's ready to fire again. You cannot or should not start a kid with a semi-automatic gun of any kind. So it's a single shot. You know once he's pulled the trigger, once your child's pulled the trigger, you don't have a lot to worry about. But you still need to teach them the proper gun safety. The next thing about this gun that makes it a good teaching tool is you have to put the shell in and you're going to have to help them with this at first but you need to teach them as soon as possible to do the next part on their own and that is this pin has to be pulled back before it can fire okay so you put the shell in you still can't fire you have to pull a firing pin back what that does is very important because a lot of young kids the first thing they do, if you put the shell in for them and go, hey, here you go, the first thing they do is their finger goes here. So the fact that you have to pull this back, and that's why I say get them to do that themselves as soon as you can, because if, the, if they know they have to go here and then pull this back, that's keeping their finger away from that trigger until it's time to shoot it. You don't learn to tie your shoes and then forget because it's repetitive motion. Repetitive motion is how you remember things by doing it again and again and again and then it just becomes natural. After tying your shoes for a while, pretty soon you don't even think about how to tie your shoes, you just tie your shoes. So if they shoot this enough times and they get used to having to pull this back, that gets them used to not putting their finger straight to the trigger. Another safety aspect is this little button right here. If you push that button in, it requires a key for it to be able to open. So if you take the gun out, make sure you have the key just in case you accidentally bump this up. Because um, once that's locked, this is nothing more than a paperweight. You can't even get the bolt open. So, the safety factors here single shot safety factor have to pull this back keeps your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot this is by far in my opinion 
the safest gun to teach a young kid on. And I'll tell you what, it's accurate. If if my kid ever gets tired of it, I'll play with it because they're a lot of fun. And it's most one of the most inexpensive things you can shoot and have fun shooting. Alright guys, so there's that gun. Um, I think I said everything about it. This is synthetic stock. You can get them in wood stock. You can get a uh, pink stock. They have a lot of options. It's it's already drilled and tapped for a sling. But, I mean, it's so light. I don't know that why you'd need a sling on it. But Good little gun for the money. $109 last time I was in Walmart. They have them. Alright guys, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your views, your comments. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. I'd love, uh, love to have you on board. If you like this one, check out the next one. We're going to show you another again. We'll see you there.